Okay, my model has just pointed out to me that I have uh, misplaced his ear. And after much arguing with him, we're I gonna, proved her wrong. <laughs> we're going to move the ear. So I'm going to take his ear from, I don't know if you can see the dark mark right here. So I'm going to have to help move the whole side of his head in to make it more of a likeness, so I thought it was almost done. My head's not as fat as she thinks it is. It is. Um, after having my husband come in and set for me and realizing the um, differences in the anatomy, which I thought I had gotten right, but um, apparently I was trying to pull up Picasso and he didn't like that too well. So, his head from this side to this side is a little wider than it should be, so I'm going to attempt to correct that today. And also, um, this picture was taken about a month ago. Uh, the photograph that I was working off of was taken about a month ago. And he had a tan and was a little bit sunburnt at the time that I took the picture. That and putting it up against a brick wall and his skin just reflecting that this red brick really gave a pink and reddish overtone uh, to his skin color. And when, he, when I brought him into the studio and set him down next to the painting, the skin tone in the painting versus the uh, skin tone in real life was very, very different. Uh, he was a lot more paler uh, with more pinkish undertones to his skin than what I've actually gotten here. So I probably, what I'm going to do today is try to attempt to reconstruct this side of his head and tone down the color in the skin tone. Even though I like the color in the skin tone, I want to make it more, a little more realistic to him. Um, and just correct some, some things here. Apparently, um, when you paint a portrait of somebody, they don't really appreciate when you come out with a Picasso-type picture. I don't know why, I don't understand it, but who knows. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to try to fix my husband's loppy head here, and uh, we'll see what we come up with. It's one of the reasons why I find um, painting a portrait so fulfilling. It's um, a very challenging. You get off just a little bit and it just distorts the whole picture. And when you're off on a portrait, you've got it just you either get it or you don't get it. And I'm wanting to uh, drastically improve my skills in portrait painting because I find portrait painting to me to be the most challenging uh, thing to paint right here I brought it this out just a little bit right here just to let you know that I was off on this side and this side and even though I took a photograph and I grafted it out to try to get the proportions just right I still got it off so just a little bit uh, can make a huge difference and I didn't even realize I was off till my husband came in and sat for me and he uh, graciously pointed it down to me so Anyway, I'm going to work on this and we'll 
see if we can't get it right. Okay, left alone for a couple of days, came back in, and thought I had pretty much fixed the anatomy, and lo and behold, oh, his ear is too small. Uh, in the photograph, the lower lobe uh, of the ear comes right underneath the nose, which that is correct, but now I've discovered that I made it too short this way. This ear actually comes up to about right there, so I'm going to fix the dang ear again. So here I go. This ear is driving me nuts. I mean, I'm sorry, but uh, if this doesn't get it, Mike, uh, you're just going to have to do without an ear. Don't know how other else to fix it, so. Um, if I have to amputate your ear to match the picture, I guess that's what I'll have to do. So I'm going to attempt it again. Here I go. And I 